Facebook, YouTube. Um, uh, topic of the message. Oh yeah, I I forgot to finish my multiplication. Uh, I mean, well, my uh, addition and multiplication and the uh, subtraction division uh, videos. I, I was one more. It's one more I forgot. You know, the teach about and it's quite interesting and important to teach this one. I gotta talk about the equal sign. You know what I'm saying? The equal sign is very important, of course, concerning um, the uh, whole thing. You know, I talked about the, the add and the subtract and the uh, uh, multiply and division. But I got to talk about the equal sign. And equal sign is very important to understand. The equal sign is... Uh, of course two lines that are on top of each other now I want you to look at uh, now it says uh, I love what Isaiah says that you know things are supposed to be line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little is what he's trying to say that if you learn the word of God in that spectrum you will learn, you know, you will learn more about it. You, you, you'll be more mindful of what, you, what, what is given to you. But it's line upon line, kind of like the equal sign, you know, line upon line. But he, uh, it's, it's, now I'm going to teach on this angle. Now, when you see the equal sign, you see really the, uh, the way. It looks, if you sw flip it, you know, uh, flip it um, sideways or something like that. You, it'll look like a road or look like a street or look like a way. Now, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, I'm going to teach that Jesus is this equal sign. Yeah, Jesus is the equal sign. But I'm going to title this the reality of the equal sign. But you're going to find out in this teaching that Jesus declared himself the equal sign. Now, here's the thing about what Jesus said. You know, uh, well, it says in Colossians, first chapter, talks about that God, that Jesus Christ created. Paul is declaring that Jesus Christ as the creator of all things. All things is made by him. It, you know, all things was made by Jesus Christ concerning earth. That, you know, that only, and of course, Jesus declared himself, I am the way. That means I am everything that is going to happen in this world can only go the way Jesus Christ said it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like this, that Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24, he prophesied in these days that there shall be wars and rumors of wars and pestilence and famine and you know earthquakes in diverse places it's happening right now you know what I'm saying more likely it's happening the way that the way said it was going to happen more likely you know what I'm saying because the idea of equal sign is you know it says one plus one equals two now, like I said, it can't equal three, it can't equal four, it can't equal five, it can't equal six, it can't equal seven, it can't equal eight, it can't equal nine, it can't equal ten. It can only equal one number, and that's two. One plus one can only equal two. That's what's so unique about how God taught me math and God and the Word of God goes hand in hand. You can only get one. There's only one answer in math. There's not two answers or three answers, but there's there's answers that's shown in different ways. But that's another message and another subject. But anyway, but you only could get one number. And the ideal of what I'm saying, it only can equal out to this ideal. It can't equal out to our way. It can't equal out your way. It can't equal out anybody else's way. It can only equal out the way that the Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life enters. Now, I want you to understand 
Jesus uh, is in John, read John 11, and I believe it's 9 through, I don't know, 9 through 10 or 8 through 9. I, I forgot exact uh, scripture, but Jesus talks about, you know what I'm saying, about uh, it, 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 are there not 12 uh, hours in a day that it talks about if a man walketh in darkness, he will stumble and, and or if he walk in the light, he will work out right, something like that. I'm paraphrasing, I'm not quoting scripture uh, exactly, but he's saying that is in this and he's speaking from a spirit, spiritual mindset, you know what I'm saying? He's speaking from a spiritual mind, I mean spiritual mindset that I did a teaching that I, I can prove to people that Jesus Christ was born spiritually on 9-11. Yeah, I can prove it. Well, I'm going to leave that alone. But I, I, I can prove that he was spiritually born. And he physically born on uh, uh, the first of Nashon. Leave that alone. But uh, this scripture talks about two ideas of light and darkness. And in the beginning, you know, God created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form, void, darkness. And, and of course, the spirit of the Lord faith came in the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And then it says that God separated the light and the darkness. See, God separated the light and the darkness. The two equal signs. The two equal sign, light and darkness. Is these two ways. The only two ways of living life is what represents the equal sign. It's the light. The light's supposed to be on top and the darkness on the bottom. But unfortunately, in the world system that Satan has deceived humanity, and now in this system that we run to these days, what equals out too many times is darkness because men allow Satan to deceive them and they follow his negative errors. And now the darkness is on top of the light right now, unfortunately. That, but that's what Jesus was talking about concerning in that passage of chapter, concerning the beginning. That, you know, in the beginning, that, uh, that if you walked in the uh, night, I mean, if you walked in the light, you know what I'm saying, you won't stumble. But you walk in the night, you will stumble, pretty much. He's trying to show you from the beginning of the establishment of of the spiritual establishment of what's going on right now. And guess what? Everything equals out. Everything will equals out. And guess what? The whole idea of this message that I want to teach you, that I want you to understand, it's not going to be your answer. Life is not going to be your answer. How much negative you do, how much negative you do, plus the more negative you do, Guess what it's going to equal out? It's going to equal out more negative, and you don't want more negative in your life. But guess what? More negative is going to happen in your life because that's how it's created. This world is created to uh, proceed if you're going to continue to do more negative. More likely. Like, really, Jesus is saying, you if you ain't going to have no light, you're going to keep on stumbling and stumbling and stumbling and hurting yourself and hurting yourself until you kill yourself in the darkness. You know what I'm saying? It's going to equal out. Negative plus negative is going to equal negative. Positive plus positive is going to equal positive. You know what I'm saying? If you want the light, you got to, if you in a negative situation, you got to put some positive in there. You're going to have to put some godliness in there. You're going to have to put the word of God, Jesus Christ, in there. Jesus Christ, the word of God. The, G, John said in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word is God. And he talks about the word of God being the light. He's the light. His word is light. And you need the word to apply the word of God in your life and get some light and stop stumbling in darkness. Because guess what? If you keep on doing, like I said, you keep on doing negative and negative, the equal, the equation is going to be more negative, whether you like it or not. This is not a fairy tale. Reality is not a fairy tale. The way you want it to work out. You did negative, you did bad. Bad results happen. Everybody like, oh, why, 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 why God don't like me? Why he don't like me? Why they know 
you don't like yourself because you're not understanding that you need light to see in darkness. You know what I'm saying? You need light to be aware of the surroundings that you are surrounded by. You need light. It's not, it's not about no, nobody else because whatever wrong everybody else doing is the idea that you don't got light, that you can't see right and you making decisions and, 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 and that is affecting your life that will lead you to have a bad equation, a bad equation, a bad result. And the thing is, this equal sign is going to hide them. This equal sign is going to pan around. This simple equation, I'm going to repeat again because this is, is simple. Negative plus negative equals negative. Positive plus positive equals positive. If the negative won't positive, I mean negative want a positive result, they got to get positive. They got to get the light. They got to get the light, Jesus Christ. If they don't, they want to continue to operate in darkness, continue to operate darkness and collect more negative stuff, negative information on television, negative information on radio, negative information everywhere you go, unfortunately, in the world we live in. And be and, and get that bad equation that everybody else got. That's what Jesus, uh, what, what the scripture says, the, for the wages of sin is death. That's what it is. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's as Paul says. That's the equation that you can, you know, go around. You can. It's the only way life is going to transpire, whether you like it or not. This is how life is going to transpire if you keep going this negative direction. The wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. It's that simple that Paul has put it in Romans 6, 23. So understand that that's how it's going to equal out. And it's going to equal out concerning the way Jesus Christ is created according to what John wrote in Colossians 1 that he created all things and in him everything. But that's the message. I hope you got the equation and I hope you understand what if you want things positive, you need the light, Jesus Christ, to get it right, show you right. That's the message. To God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.